It's great to have you with me today on Paint a Beautiful Picture. Today we're going to talk about joy, exuberant, intentional joy. This is episode number 158. I was recently traveling. I was in a bathroom and there were some problems in that bathroom. And right when I went to look for somebody, a young woman came in. I said, uh, do you work here? And she said, oh, yes, I do. I, I'm getting ready to clean this bathroom. I've been in the men's room. I said, well, I really apologize to you, but there's this mess in this one bathroom, and I think it's going to take a plunger. And she said, oh, that's okay. She said, I'm going to be happy to take care of that. I looked at her. I said, wow, so you really like your job? And she said, oh, no, I love my job. She said, I am so absolutely thankful about this job. You can't even imagine it. I said, really? Why is that? And she said, I'm living one day at a time right now, which was a, you know, signal to me that she's an, a recovering addict. And I was really impressed that though she might not have known it, she was willing to share that with me. And she said, I had a really rough time uh, for quite a while. I was on the streets and I didn't even get to sleep in a bed and it was really bad. And she said, now I'm staying with a friend. I get to sleep in a bed every night. I'm safe and warm. And, and now I'm actually earning money and saving up to buy a car. And I'm really excited every day when I come to work. I want this place to be as clean as it can. And it was, that entire store, that entire area was spotless. She said, I take care of everything. And I am so, so excited to have this job. And when I went home that day, I really thought about that. How many of us honestly are intentionally joyous about our lives? Because we have so much to rejoice about. I'm going to tell you in the book of Philippians in the Bible, it says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. In other words, rejoicing is a decision that we get to make. We can rejoice in the goodness of God. We can rejoice in the goodness of our life. We can rejoice in the abundance of what we have. And the converse is true. We can be grumpy and complain and act nasty and whine. We can do that. We really can. And we can let our kids get away with that. Or we honestly can be joyous and teach our kids to be joyous. Let me talk to you about this a minute. You have running water, including hot running water. You can take a shower. Oh my word, if you're listening to me or watching this, you have a computer or an iPad or an intelligent enough phone that lets you watch YouTube or Rumble videos. Yeah, you're doing okay. Chances are good you have a car. I bet you ate breakfast today. I imagine you're probably going to get to eat dinner tonight. And you have a refrigerator in which you keep your food. In fact, you have so much food that sometimes you're throwing stuff away. You probably go out to eat, at least occasionally, if not a couple times a week. You get to put gas in the car, though it's very expensive, and I acknowledge that, and it's a pain in the neck, but you have the, the means by which to put gasoline into your vehicle, and you have a vehicle. You get to drive on paved roads. You have clothes to wear. In fact, you probably have eight or 10 or 20 outfits, not just one single thing. <laughs> and I bet you have jewelry. You probably have a watch. You might even have a smart watch, bracelets, rings, earrings, necklaces. Many people on the planet, I just need you to know, do not have those things. But we're not going to play the comparison game today. I'm just going to tell you, you have a lot to be joyous about. You have toilet paper in your bathroom. I mean it. I've lived in places where that does not happen. And wow, it's a lot to rejoice about. You have a washing machine. And if you don't, there's a laundromat not very far away where you can wash your clothes. You have deodorant. You have soap. You have nail polish. You have nail clippers. I could go on and on about this. You have a pair of scissors. You have a screwdriver. You have a hammer. You have eyes that see, ears that hear, a voice that can speak, 
hands, feet that you can walk upon. Wow, can you please tell me why it's so hard to rejoice? <laughs> because we're focusing on all the wrong things. We're focusing on the problems. We're focusing on the frustrations. We're focusing on all the wrong stuff. You have children. I talked to a lady the other day at church. She's been married almost 47 years. And she said to me, even now, I just wish I could have had a baby, but I could never get pregnant. She's been married to the same husband, really loves her husband. He is very good to her, but she still has deep, deep sorrow that she was never able to have a child. I think that you're probably watching this channel because you do have a child and you should be joyous about that. Even if your child has trouble, your child's frustrating, your child's on your last nerve today. Still, you should absolutely rejoice that you have a child. You can teach joy to your child very intentionally. You can live in joy. When you're at your work, I want you to rejoice about your work. Rejoice that you have a computer. Rejoice that you have an IT department to go to when things don't work. Rejoice that you have a phone. Rejoice that you have pens and pencils with which to work. Paper clips. All kinds of things. A manual that helps you when you're not quite sure what you should, you're supposed to do. And you can read policy about that. I am telling you, there is so much in the world that we can rejoice about. It's your decision. Are you going to live a life with intentional joy? Or are you going to be a grumpy 2-year-old, 12-year-old, or 32-year-old? Because that is entirely up to you. I really want to thank this young woman, God bless you, Tina, for helping me, reminding me again that we have so very much to rejoice about, to be excited about, to be thrilled about, because our lives are really good. My challenge question for you today is this. How joyful am I? Because <laughs> if there isn't any joy in your life, get on with it. Go outdoors, smell the roses, look at the blue sky, put your feet barefooted down into the grass. Or if it's winter, go throw a snowball at somebody just for fun, not hurtfully, but really and truly just for fun. Or build a snowman or make a snow angel. Today, I want you to rejoice and enjoy the beauty of this wonderful, amazing life. Thank you so much for being with me today on Paint a Beautiful Picture. You may find additional information on our paintabeautifulpicture.com website. Additionally, you may watch me on Rumble, and you may also listen to a podcast on Buzzsprout or Spreaker, all under the name Paint a Beautiful Picture. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You may subscribe, and if you are interested in receiving notifications, please hit the notifications button.